we have one more type of container that we need to talk about, and that's lists. Remember, I said that vectors have to be all the same data type. So you can't put together a numeric value and a character value and a logical value. So we had, we had tried this before. One, a, true. And remember, what we get is everything coerced to strings. But if instead of a vector, we use a different kind of container called a list, we can do this. So if we set m to the list of 1, a, and true, you'll see that it reads out a bit differently. We've got three different, really three different vectors. So inside the first item on the list is a vector that just contains one value. It's the number one. And the second item on the list is a vector that contains one value. It's the letter A. And the third is true. OK. So we can use lists to combine together different types of data. Um, and what you really need to know about lists to start out with is that sometimes when you do um, statistical operations, your um, results will come back as a list. So you might do a t-test, and then the results that come back to you are a combination of numbers and character values. You might get the t-value, the p-value, but also um, what type of t-test was it paired or not paired, and that won't be a number. So it will return a list to you. Now list items, you can get their values in a few different ways. In fact, let's do a quick t-test just to show you a concrete example of this. So we're going to create a data frame. We're going to use the tibble function like we did before. So A is going to be um, 20 normally distributed values from population with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 10. And B is going to be 20 more values. This will be a paired design from a population with a mean of 105 and a standard deviation of 10. Okay. So we'll create that data set, have a quick look at it, make sure it looks like what we expect, and then I'm going to run a t-test on it. So I'm going to store the values here in my test, t.test. Now we're going to compare the column A to the column B, how we can get these values out of a data set or with the dollar sign. So dollar sign A, data, dollar sign B, and we want to tell the t-test that this is a paired values t-test. Okay, so we can see up here my test is a list, a list of 10 items. You can click on that and see them in the viewer. They're called statistic, parameter, p-value, confidence interval, estimate, null value, and then, so those are our numeric values. And then we also have some character values, alternative, method, data name. So if you want to find a value from a list, you can use the methods that we used before. So the first value is just in brackets one, and that will tell you what's the name of that list item. It's statistic, and statistic is a numeric value. It's a named numeric value, so it, its name is T and its value is negative 2.23. Now we could have also asked for a statistic by name and get the same thing. But we can use this dollar sign notation as well. Let's say we want to get the p-value. And again, our studio gives us some really great shortcuts if you think you know the name of a parameter, but you're not sure, you can start typing it and hit tab, and it will give you all of the parameters that start with that letter. So here we can get the p-value with the dollar sign notation as well. So a list can um, give you data of different types, and you often need to know how to get values out of a list.